Hi, I'm Dr. Vic Setrick. Today we're going to talk about chorionic villus sampling in pregnancy. This broadcast is brought to you by V. Setcher, MD. Today, there are over 200 different toxic chemicals found in newborns' cord blood. How do these chemicals get there? How do these toxins get there? Through maternal exposure. Through exposure from the air you breathe, the food you eat, and yes, even the makeup you use. I created this company, V. Setcher, MD, to give women a safe, non-toxic alternative for their cosmetic choices during pregnancy. Furthermore, to give women an empowerment during their pregnancy, we added all certain features to this, our website. These features include video broadcasts, white papers, audio podcasts, and other very important information needs that every pregnant woman can use to empower themselves and gain knowledge for their pregnancy. Now back to today's broadcast. Chorionic real sampling. Genetics has had an explosion of information in the last few years. It used to be very simple. You get a blood test in the second trimester and you get a detailed ultrasound in the second trimester and then the doctor will tell you baby looks like this or like that and you can get an amniocentesis or maybe even a chorionic villus sampling, which we're going to discuss. But now, with information technology, there are so many more choices to use and it's sometimes confusing to figure out which is the right option for you. It all boils down to safety and choices. Ultimately, you should have a detailed discussion with your genetic counselor and your physician to decide which is the best for you. Chorionic villus sampling is a very specialized procedure done by very few physicians in this country involving taking a sample or a biopsy of the placenta. This is done either through the abdomen or through the cervix. There is a loss rate, which means you could possibly lose your pregnancy, and this can occur in up to one to two per hundred pregnancies. This is compared to amniocentesis, which is about one in 400 pregnancies. The benefit of chorionic villus sampling is that this can be done at about nine or, no, sorry, about 10 plus weeks of pregnancy. After that, you can actually get the biopsy of this placental tissue and the fetal tissue is also in that biopsy. And then they can extract the chromosomes from that information and they can tell you, the parent, whether your baby has Down syndrome, what the chromosomes look like, and if you want more detailed information, you can order more tests to get that information as well. This is to be contrasted with the cell-free DNA tests which are offered, which really only tell you about three specific chromosomal anomalies. That's trisomy 13, 18, and 21. And they can also tell you the sex of the baby. Those tests also are 99% accurate. Chorionic villus sampling is 100% accurate. There is an occasional risk of something called chorionic placental mosaism, mosaicism, or CPM. This occurs when there's a bit of maternal tissue mixed in with the fetal tissue, and they can't quite tell which is which. And if this occurs, you might have to get an amniocentesis as well. Ultimately, the decision to go ahead and proceed with this test is based on if you need the information early in pregnancy. For instance, if you want to know by 10 or 11 weeks before you show too much, so you can make an informed decision on what your personal choices are on how to proceed with your pregnancy. Well, this about concludes our today's message, and hope to see you soon. Thank you.